my name is Mike, everybody, and uh, I work here in the Tech Annex with Darren and Jim. And right now we're trying to just get set up for Tony to start playing here. And I can talk a little bit about our setup here. Uh, as you can see, we've got all these microphones set up, we've got all this equipment set up, we've got all these amps set up. Right now, uh, Tony is playing straight through into our mixer right here. This is the Zoom HD16. We're using it in a mode. This is kind of like an all-in-one station where you can record stuff and mix it all in one, and uh, it's got even got like a CD drive on it. Right now, we're just using this as a big A track right now, so just so we can get all these channels in one. Um, so we're going to record on this, and this is actually so we can record each of these channels individually, and then later after the fact, like if we're doing say, we also do open mics here, and a lot of times we'll have people, a lot of people different playing different instruments guitarist, bass, keyboards, vocals, whatever. And sometimes what happens is we record it all down to one track and later we find out like somebody's vocals were terrible or the bass player was terrible or something like that. Or maybe a converse is like uh, one time Tony was playing he put this really amazing guitar solo but nobody could hear it at the time. So we record on here just so that we have all these tracked out and later we can, we can raise up one part, lower one part just so we can edit it after the fact. And we're also recording in the computer here just in case this doesn't work. So we're just using Audacity to record the whole mix, the whole output, just so that we have one good take. Here it's only one track, and that's kind of the same problem that everything is down to one track, and we can't pick out different tracks. Tony is just playing. He's only one person. He can only play one guitar at a time, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Super jumpy. this is kind of like overkill right now, but it's just so that we have two different, at least two different ways that we can record just in case uh, this doesn't work or just in case computer crashes, something like that. We have two different things that we record. So what I was doing was I was trying to get um, this to uh, record and I had to close and open the project for a second here. All right. And let's see, that's a red mic. You talk on the mic? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. And, uh, and the guitar is now. Uh, uh, guitar is this one, right? Play guitar? Right. So that still works. That's good. So I'm going to start to record down here. So now this is recording everything that's going on. And then also on here, um, I'm going to start recording. So that's. This is actually hooked up to both these two big, uh, there's the other one, both these two big speakers here, the PA system, and it's also hooked up to the computer, so that's how the sound is getting to three different places at the same time. I think everything's good, we kind of messed with the levels, and probably just go ahead and play. Okay, we'll put one track now. <laughs> peeking out and then it gets distorted and everything. So that started actually happening. Um, I don't know if I just I didn't realize how loud it was going to be at first. So I actually had to turn it down a little bit and then to try to keep the volume like the same, I try to just, like the master control, raise up the volume on everything but turn the, the signal down on the guitar. And I try to do it at the same time. So hopefully you didn't hear it. But. This is our studio mic stand. Mic. The boom mic, which is nice because that way you can have a music stand right behind the boom mic and then um, have uh, 
is stressed out over top of it, so that way you know it's not getting in your way. And so this is our like our this is a condenser mic, okay? So that's uh that's that's nice to have um, you know for vocals. It's it's a good mic, and you see these pop filters right here. You got two pop filters, so that way you don't hear the P's and you know the the, the force of air. And, uh, now, after you're done with this whole process, yes. what do you do with this as a library? Post it up on YouTube if we're doing a video. So if somebody comes in and wants to record this, do you give them a copy of it? Yes. We Free of them, charge? We, well, we make them pay a dollar for the CD if, unless they bring their own media, flash drive, phone, whatever they're going to do, iPod, whatever. I mean, we'll give them, if they want a CD copy, we just charge them a dollar. But we, everything's free in here. But what we try to do is teach people how to fish rather than go getting the fish for them so that way it looks like we're trying to control everything. We don't want to do that. It's about learning here. That's what we're all about. I see that you guys use Audacity. We use a free version of that at the library. Are you using like full paid version or just the free one? Is there a paid version? I thought there was. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I as far as I know, there's. No, it's a really nice program. Even yeah, the, the oh, it's one. awesome. Okay. Okay. And download the extra plugins also. I don't think we've done that. Okay. Okay. Because okay. there's. I don't know, th uh, probably 40 or 50 extra plugins that you wow. can just Wow, it's a really nice audio program, it's great. It is, and yeah. you'll see right here, sorry to um, interject here, but you'll see right here, you see, you see the line here, okay, it's not clipping, but when it first started, okay, right there, that right there, if you play it back, which I guess we can play it back here. Turn the speaker over a little bit. Okay. Oh, he's playing over time. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, so the second have, part. <laughs> we have a uh, we have a set of monitor speakers here that will tell you if you got cracking in there that you may not hear when you're cheaper uh, stereo system. Tech Addict Production.